much, Tony. I am so high. Right now, it is like the highest I've ever been in my life. I've been to the Space Needle a few times. I don't know if you've ever been to the Space Needle, but that's pretty high. But I feel like I'm just... I'm just way super higher than that right now. Like, I feel like I'm up in the clouds. I'm feeling them. Oh, they're all up and around my face. This is the highest I've ever been in my life. You, sir, you you are a good tiger. Oh, yeah. you, you got that tiger power. You rock it, Tony. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review American Ultra. So, American Ultra is from Max Landis, the writer for Chronicle, a movie I absolutely loved, but it is from the director of Project X. It has the talents of Jesse Eisenberg, Kristen Stewart, John Leguizamo, and Topher Grace. So this film is about the stoner, played by Jesse Eisenberg, with a stoner girlfriend, played by Kristen Stewart. And he turns out to be the secret agent, like he has these special abilities. But he's up for extermination, except he can't be taken down because he's very highly skilled and he's well way too high to handle so american ultra i saw the trailers and watching a concept like this i seriously thought this movie could be a lot of fun like just hearing the premise of a stoner that has special abilities it's awesome oh but american ultra was such a disappointment the first thing this movie already suffers from is taking the concept way too seriously. Okay, the premise of a stoner being a secret agent and he's highly skilled. When you hear a premise like that, you're not supposed to take it seriously. Before I get to more of what I did like about American Ultra, let's get to my positives with this movie. So I will say positives with American Ultra is that the performances are actually very well done. Jesse Eisenberg, he does a great job in the lead role. Yes, everyone's going to say that he still plays the same character that he does in every movie. He just plays that same shy awkward character but Jesse Eisenberg in all honesty always pulls that off well and I will say the same thing goes to Kristen Stewart who I haven't been a fan of in the past mainly for Twilight but I'll even admit slowly as an actress I can see her actually being a good actress and I do think I have been harsh with her in the past extremely harsh so Kristen Stewart Great job, I give you where credit is due, and you did a fantastic job acting in this film. John Leguizamo, surprisingly not in this film as much as I would have liked him to, but for the role he had, he was actually very funny. Maybe even the funniest part of the movie. John Leguizamo, you know, the movie really isn't all that funny, but when it came to John Leguizamo, he did actually make me laugh pretty hard. And Topher Grace, who I've always really liked. He's an underrated actor, and I thought he did a good job with his role. He really fit his role, and you could tell he was having fun, despite that I did have an issue with his role, which I'll get into later on, more on the negative side. But I did like him overall in the movie. Cinematography-wise, this movie is 
gorgeous looking, very well shot, the lighting looked very proper, there's even a couple of very colorful moments. I do think some of the writing was creative too. It is well directed too, I will say that. And considering this is from the same director of Project X, she actually did a much better job directing American Ultra. I really did not have a problem with this movie direction wise. The movie really was not as funny, nowhere near as funny as I expected it to be actually. But you know, here and there, um, you know, far in between, there's a moment that could make me laugh. Maybe not hard besides John Leguizamo, but you know, I'll get a nice little haha -ha here and there. And then the last positive I will say is that there's a couple of serious moments in the movie that truly did work for the storyline. But now, my problem with the movie is how I just addressed it. It does take itself way too seriously. Most of this movie was not really as self-aware as it could have been. You know, with the premise like this, you're not supposed to take it too seriously. But this movie really takes it way too seriously to the point where I can't really have that much fun. It just doesn't have a very good balance. It is an extremely, and I really do mean an extremely un- even movie. It doesn't know if it wants to be this serious drama or if it wants to be this balls to the wall comedy. The tone was all over the place in my opinion. The pacing really was not that great with the movie either because I did find myself pretty bored honestly throughout American Ultra. I would say after like all the crazy stuff happens the movie does slow down for a good amount of time and I'm just waiting for the movie to kind of get to the point and honestly I really don't feel like the movie picks itself back up until once we get to the climax because the action in this movie is awesome. It's very well filmed, it's violent, it's bloody, it's a lot of fun when the action is there and definitely the climax was awesome. But before the climax, I was honestly saying, okay, when is the movie going to pick itself back up? The writing, for the most part, did feel very cluttered and really didn't know where to go with a premise like this. The movie, I guess, kind of knows it's a mess, but it's just kind of not really keeping still. Like, not keeping that balance. It's just going, poof, out of balance. Walter Goggins as the laughter, the laughter, whatever. I didn't really like him. I actually cringed whenever the laughter would pop on screen because he was trying to be the Joker. You could clearly see him trying to be the Joker but just trying way too hard in this movie. And the movie's trying to be funny and even tries to poke fun of it but honestly it just didn't work. Didn't really care for the laughter in this movie. Topher Grace, now like I said I liked him in this movie but as far as the negative I have with his role, just like with the movie in general, he felt more serious than he did funny. From the trailers, I really thought he was going to be this funny goofball throughout the movie, but he really isn't. He's more of a serious asshole than he is a funny asshole. And then the last problem I did have with the movie is that some of the editing does get really choppy. Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart. I really bond to their romance and I would actually say that's my favorite part of the movie is their romantic chemistry with each other. You buy that they are in love with each other, that they are a couple. The movie overall, while it's not at all horrible, it's just meh. And that's honestly sad for me to say because I really was hoping to come out of this movie and just say how much fun it was. but. It just takes itself way too seriously and that's where I feel like the movie does really take away a lot of the fun out of it. So I'm going to give American Ultra 2 out of 4 stars. So you guys in the comments down below let me know what did you think of American Ultra and also I want to thank my guest star Justin Watches Movies for being in my intro for American Ultra. Thank you for taking the time, buddy. He loves movies. He has an awesome movie reviews channel. So if you guys haven't checked him out, I will leave a link in the description below. 
This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!